With the power of Arduino, we can send sensor data to our laptop. For example, we can twist a knob and control a synth that's programmed in pure data. I talk more about it in this tutorial right here. We can also send data from our laptop to the Arduino. For example, we can use pure data to control the brightness of an LED. I have a separate tutorial on this as well. Now, the question that I get often is, is it possible to send data from Arduino to pure data and also send data from pure data to Arduino at the same time? Well, it's about time we explore this possibility. So our objective is this. We have a blinking LED right here. Pure data is sending a metro on-off data to Arduino like this. Now, what we'll try to do is to control the blinking speed by twisting the knob. So, we'll send the potentiometer data from Arduino to pure data and use that data to change the metro speed. And that blinking message will be sent to Arduino. The blinking speed will go faster when we twist the knob in clockwise direction and vice versa. Let's give it a try. So the approach is to just combine the two codes together and pray to the programming god that it works. Okay, the code looks like this. By the way, you can download all the codes and patches in the description below. Here's when we send the sensor data. And here's where we receive data from pure data. The pure data patcher will look like this. Here's where we receive the data from Arduino. So it'll display the sensor data. And here's where we send data to Arduino. Now let's modify the Arduino code so that we can control the LED brightness. All right, let's test it out. Okay, what I'm noticing is that the potentiometer sensor data is not changing in pure data. I'm obviously twisting it, but this number box is not changing. Hmm, well, let's try the LED brightness and hope that one's working at least. Awesome, it's working. Wait, did you see that? Run that footage back. When I changed the brightness, the sensor value also changed. Look, it went from 0 to this value as soon as I changed the brightness. Hmm, what if we connect a fast metro to this number box? Let's twist the knob again. Aha, it's working. It must be that the receive algorithm in the Arduino code needs to be activated before it goes to the send algorithm that follows it. It kind of gets stuck in the receive algorithm until it's activated. So make sure to continuously update this number box like this. Perfect. Now we can modify the patcher so that we can change the blinking speed with the potentiometer. All right, let's twist the knob. Cool, it's working. Now, there could be a more optimized way of doing this, so if there is, please do comment below and I'll pin it. Otherwise, yeah, that's about it. Do what you will with this information, and I hope that it'll help you create cool projects. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.